Hey, well, it is National Grilled Cheese Day. And even though it's 5.18 in the morning, I definitely think I could go for a grilled cheese. Right? Yeah, I think I, should, I could too, <laughs> honestly. NBC10's Bill Wood made a stop in New Orleans to learn more on the history of the Tasty Sandwich. A little extra mayonnaise on here. You can't have too much mayonnaise. It's so simple. So basically, basic. And so comfortably confirmed as an American comfort food classic. All right, three slices each. It's the grilled cheese sandwich. Of course. Created in New Orleans by chef Chris Lusk at his restaurant inside Hotel Fontenot. It's called the Peacock Room. <laughs> Where an ooey gooey warm and wonderful masterpiece gets and deserves, just like Halloween and Thanksgiving, its very own day. National Grilled Cheese Sandwich Day. How do we pay tribute? Eat as many as we can. With honor and dignity. And do you think you have a bowl of tomato soup in here? I'm pretty sure I do. I'm the chef. There's mayonnaise on the outside. Like the sandwich he makes, Chef Chris is the real deal educated at Johnson & Wales with close to 20 years cooking in kitchens around New Orleans. The grilled cheese got its start in the 20s, got popular during World War II, got fancy in the hands of Chef Chris. Bread nice and toasted. It is a chicken katsu grilled cheese, which is a Japanese style fried chicken. You elevated a simple sandwich to four star status. Well, thank you very much. It's something I'm very passionate about. My grandmother fried chicken, ate that all the time, and I turned it into a grilled cheese, which I love the both of them. Did grandma drink coffee? Every day. Even when you've had a bad day, a grilled cheese is still good to go. Good to the last bite. Yummy. That sounds delicious. I think I'm just gonna go get, <laughs> go right get a grilled cheese right now. <laughs> yeah, it's so good. It's <laughs> still to come on.